Hello everybody, my name is Danny Wells and I'm a Regional Vice President with Arban International and also a Health and Wellness Consultant with Ultra Premium Swiss Skincare and Nutrition. Absolutely love my um, chosen career path, but it wasn't always that way. So I'm just going to briefly share with you a little bit about my story. So I actually trained as um, an optical assistant, a dispensing optician in uh, a local optician's to me. I worked there for seven years and worked my way up. Absolutely loved it. I loved helping people, being involved, making some sort of a difference. And, you know, it was just the best, the best thing, really. Um, however, I met my husband and we had our first child, which was fine, which was great. And I decided to go back to work part time because I wanted to be really present with my daughter. So I just worked at the optician part time and then the rest of the time I was involved with what was going on with my daughter. So play group, stuff like that, library, swimming, you know. Um, and then we went on to have our second daughter. Now, this is where everything changed for us because most people, including myself, don't have a plan B. We just assume that life will always be how we plan it to be. And sometimes it isn't that way. And for us, the unpredictable happened and we didn't have a plan B. So I was working part-time at the opticians and my husband was working five days a week as a tiler. And we had our second child and she was actually born with um, a very severe brain hemorrhage and she had a stroke and it left her with a lot of brain damage. Now, what that meant for her life was she would have a life in and out of hospital, different appointments, you know, um, occupational therapy, physio, speech and language, um, neurology, MRI scan, CT, you name it, she had to go through it. So being a baby, she can't take herself to these appointments. She needed someone to constantly be there for her and do that. So as her mom, I made the very difficult decision to say goodbye to my career and be my daughter's full-time carer. And uh, this is where I wish I'd had a plan B, actually, because this was absolutely heartbreaking. So while actually she was in intensive care for a lot of her early life, my husband had to go to work, leave his daughter on intensive care, go to work to pay our bills. Because if he stayed with his daughter and me in intensive care and on high dependency wards, that would be great. He'd be with us, but our bills wouldn't get paid. And this is why I wish I'd had this business in my life then, because it would have meant that we were still generating an income, even though we both were in hospital where we needed to be at the time. But at the time, we didn't have a plan B. And this is why I'm so passionate about sharing this with other people now. So anyway, left my career and I became my daughter's full-time carer. And for two years, I was at three different cities in different hospitals taking care of my daughter. But it left us in financial ruins. We went from having a really great household with two great incomes to me leaving my income, saying goodbye to it, and then traveling to take my daughter to where she needed to be. Plus, I had a toddler. And uh, we were just absolutely brassic. We were skin. Everything was going on the credit card. We were borrowing money from the in-laws. And two years later, we found ourselves in thousands and thousands and thousands of pounds of debt because we couldn't afford to pay our bills. My husband would earn his paycheck, and it would last us about two weeks of a month. And then we'd have another two weeks left where we just couldn't afford to buy food. We couldn't afford to do anything. Um, and my husband was working seven days a week at this point as well. So it wasn't like he was still just doing the five days that he was doing before. He was now working seven days a week. So we barely saw him, which as you can imagine, put massive um, strain on our marriage. Um, it meant that neither of us could do anything. We didn't have a social life. So things were really, really tough. And then a friend that I knew from a baby group introduced me to something that I'd never heard of called network marketing and she could see the absolute pickle and state that we were in I was constantly stressed you know life was just not fun life should be about getting up in the morning and enjoying what it is that you're doing enjoying your purpose but I wasn't for two years I was just stressed and miserable and I just didn't see a light at the end of the tunnel I just saw that in five years time this would still be what we were doing so it was incredibly uh, an incredibly difficult time so my friend said to me, Danny, have you looked at network marketing? And I was very much like, oh no, it's one of those things, isn't it? Like door to door selling and all that. I can't do that now. I've got time and you know, I definitely don't have the money. And she was like, I think you're actually a little bit misinformed about what it is. So she explained it to me properly and oh my God, did she make sense? So she basically said, you know that you already shower? And I was like, yeah, forgive him. She's like, you know, you would eat breakfast, lunch, drinks. Yeah. She's like, you batty children. Yeah. She goes, and you know that you, um, if you like something, you put it on social media. You, you're really big on recommending things to other people. You like helping other people. And I was like, yeah, I do that all the time. If, you know, if I found a bargain at Morrison's, it'd be on Facebook. You're like, oh my God, chicken's half fries or whatever it may be. Or TV program. Like, oh my gosh, this program's amazing. Um, I was like, yeah, yeah, I love recommending things. Absolutely love it. And she goes, okay, well, imagine if 
you switched your food shop from Morrison's to um, Waitrose. I was like, oh, they're expensive. No, she was like, no, bear with me. She was like, imagine if you swapped your food shop to Waitrose and they said, you can buy your food shop at Waitrose, which you're going to get something better quality, but we're going to give you, give you your products at wholesale. I was like, all right, okay. So you basically spend the same. I was like, right, okay. But you get something better. Okay, I'm following. And they said, and then if you tell your friends and family to do the same, like stop spending your money in Tesco's and Morrison's and spend it in Waitrose, and you are also going to get that at wholesale as well. So it's like, great. So I'm getting wholesale and they're getting wholesale. This is amazing. And they were like, and because you've told them and they've brought their money from a different supermarket into Waitrose Till, Waitrose is going to pay you a percentage of what they spent. So if they spend £100 and you earn 10%, you're going to get £10 back. I was like, wow, this sounds amazing. And she was like, right, exactly. She goes, this is what network marketing is. And I'm going to introduce you how to do this with health and wellness products because people only spend so much on food. She goes, so I found a company where people spend most of their money on personal care products. So again, breakfast, lunch, drinks, um, shower gel, shampoo, spa treatments, makeup, um, toothpaste, deodorant, all of these things that we all spend hundreds of pounds a month on. So we're going to now buy them from an online company. You're going to get something a million times better, better and you're going to get it at wholesale. And then as you share that information with other people, they're going to get a discount and you're going to get paid a percentage of what they spend because you're the person that introduced them. I was like, this sounds amazing. This sounds like how I've introduced people to Amazon. People have gone on Amazon and ordered their books and CDs. And then Amazon have paid me a check back, which they never have done. But I was like, imagine if they did that. And she was like, that'd be great, wouldn't it? And I was like, yeah. She goes, imagine if they paid you every single time they bought on Amazon as well. So not just once, but every time they bought off Amazon. I was like, yeah, this sounds really good. And she said, and imagine if not just the people you tell, but the people that they tell and they tell and they tell, you earn a percentage from what they spend as well. I was like, what? So people I don't even know that they're being introduced because I've introduced someone that's introduced them. And she was like, yeah. And I was like, okay, is it good money? And she was like, yeah. I was like, okay, I am in. So I jumped into this business a year ago and I work it very part-time in hospital, around my daughter, at home like I am right now. My children run around. And I use these products at a fantastic distance. I see enormous dis- dis- differences. I take before and after photos. I share this information with people that want to hear about it. People contact me now, especially people are contacting me, um, especially for looking for paraben-free deodorants, paraben-free products. So people that have been diagnosed with de- degenerative illnesses that have been told by their specialists to look for products that don't contain any of the nasties. I get a lot of people contact me now because people know that I'm a health and wellness consultant um, which I started doing last year people know that so then they contact me so that's kind of how the business has gone now a year down the line and um, there is only four levels of promotion and I'm on the fourth level which is a regional vice president and I oh god I earn six times more a month than I earned working full-time as a, a dispensing optician And with this business, I work very, very part-time. I take my children to school. I pick them up. I'm at every hospital appointment. I'm at every sports day, every swimming lesson. If my friends want to go out for a meal, I'm there. I'm at absolutely everything. I'm 100% present in my life. I'm not tied down to a job. So I work from home and I help people as they message me. I'll say, yeah, do you want to meet up for coffee? I'll show you some of the products. People might want a one-to-one with nutrition. They want me to help them talk about the nutrition range. They want me to help them with makeup, where to put it, how to apply it, different colors. Might be a hairdresser that's interested in their um, hair products for their salon. Might be someone that's winning a spa and they want the spa products for their um, for their spa. It could be absolutely anything. But I get to choose when I meet people. And if I do that virtually online like this, or if I meet them in person, and, and that's basically it. So I'm going to run you through how this business actually works because it is really, really exciting.